Now, last but definitely not least is the last part of left atrial functions, the contraction phase of the left ventricle. In strain imaging is the LASCT, so contraction strain. And I want to show you this specific loop because what's quite interesting in this loop is that this pre-A is not optimally placed. So you have the waves again, you see that the left atrial strain is rather normal. This was a very sporty individual, but also a steroid user. Nevertheless, strain imaging was still normal. Also cardiac MRI was normal, but take a look at now the strain curves. You see left atrial strain, you see it follows quite nicely the, the left atrial borders. And you see the first measurements, it's about 40%. So that's left atrial strain reservoir, then the conduit follows, and just before the P wave. So a little bit more to the right, the green line has to be, then we have an optimal measurement of left atrial strain in contraction. Nevertheless, overall, the measurements will be accurate. So the uh, reservoir phase is 42%, the conduit uh, minus 31%, and the contraction minus 11%. But now it's time to talk about left atrial functions and how to interpret LASCT. So left atrial contraction, so left atrial systole, also has active myocardial shortening. The active left atrial contraction phase is responsible for up to 10 to 20% of left ventricular filling. In the elderly, it's more important. So it's more dependent, the filling of the left ventricle on atrial contraction, up to 35 to even 40% of left ventricular filling. And a small shift also is seen when the left atrium contracts from the left atrium into the pulmonary veins. And this is also seen in healthy individuals. And that's this AR signal we already have seen in a prior video.